What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Ryan and I took a little road trip today because I have a problem. The problem is I ordered two JLs and I can't decide which color I like better. If you guys haven't been around before, Ryan actually ordered his Ram from this dealership. Uh, the sales manager's name is Randy. Uh, the salesman we uh, were talking to was Brendan here at, here at Coughlin Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram uh, up in Marysville, Ohio. Uh, these guys are amazing. They took me through the entire ordering process for me wanting to buy my own Jeep. Uh, and surprisingly, it only took two weeks to get my first Jeep in. And I say my first Jeep because I actually ordered two. The first Jeep has come in. Ryan and I are checking it out right now. Um, now you may be asking, why did I order two? Well, it's kind of a long story, but basically what had happened was I got sick and tired of waiting for the release of the hella yellow color. So I went ahead and ordered the new color called Mojito and we built the entire thing here. Randy took me behind the sales desk and we built it exactly the way I wanted it. Ordered that about two weeks ago and it's already here at the dealership which is absolutely surprising to me. Um, but two days after I had ordered it, they had released the color that I've been waiting for which was the hella yellow. So I talked to Randy and I said, hey is there any way I could just switch the paint code? Uh, switch the paint color of the one I ordered to the hella yellow before it hit manufacturing all this stuff and when he checked onto it they actually picked up my frame within those two days and started building my Jeep so there was no going back so Randy hooked it up and he said you know what we'll keep the green one on our lot if you decide you don't like it and we'll keep the yellow one on the lot if you decide you don't like that one so here it is guys this is the mojito and this is a Rubicon uh, so I had Randy deck it out for me so I started with the Rubicon I wanted the LEDs they look so much better than the halogens uh, I kept the regular bumper because I know I'm gonna switch it out so there's no point for me getting the Rubicon bumper steel steer bumper group the Rubicons actually come if, come with 33 inch tires so they sit a little bit higher than the sports and wow do they they just look so good the green just changes with the light and I the camera's probably not picking it up honestly it is like it's a pretty dark like gecko green so with the Rubicon it comes with all the red accents which I actually kind of love um, the uh, green a lot of people will be like oh it looks like Christmas whatever but actually in person it looks really good to have like that third color so I went with the black hardtop I thought by the time I was gonna get this it was gonna be fall slash winter so I knew I was going to regret getting the soft top uh, during that time so I went with the hardtop Ryan talked me into that I kept with the cloth seats on the inside mostly because if I wanted to change out the leather that's something I could do by myself and then you can see I did the six-speed manual instant two grand to save there also it's not a Jeep if it's not manual so you can see you got the front and rear lockers, the sway bar disconnect down there. Uh, you got the auto windows. I actually got the winter weather group, uh, so heated seats, heated steering wheel. I actually went with the upgraded sound system. A sound system is something I can install. However, it's not something I really wanted to mess with on my Wrangler. There's only like $1,200 extra, and you get the subwoofer in the back here. So I figured, just why not throw it in there? It just looks clean. It's set off to the side. It's out of the way. And I like it better here than when they had it in the JKs in the bottom here. You can see I got the floor mats, all that kind of stuff. What is that? Oh, those are from the Freedom panels. Oh, and then you can see the green on the frame. That is nice. Man, so fresh. There's not even a... You'll see on the forums people complain about how this leaks so bad. But it's so fresh. Look at that. There's no... Hasn't even been used yet. There's no leaking. This Jeep looks incredible. And again, I just went with the, the base wheels. I didn't upgrade to the, the chrome lip ones. It was like $900 to upgrade. I'm just like, I might as well spend that on wheels I really want, so there's no point. There's the rock rails. But yeah, that's, oh man. Trying to do for you? Yeah, we were just 
What's up, Randy? What's up, guys? How you doing? I, I am. I didn't think over this one. <laughs> I know. It's hard now that I'm here looking at it. But I'll tell, I, I saw a thing and I'm like, that thing, I'm sorry, I, that kills it. <laughs> <laughs> what you tell me? You know, that right there. Oh man. That's what I'm saying. That was like the thing that did it for me. I actually saw a sport, but like the green was totally different on the sport. I, I don't too much know. Too black trim, and yeah. it changes the tone. You yeah. get different hues from it. Yeah. So. Randy just handed me the key. We're actually gonna take it on a test drive. He wanted me to uh, come out and see it as soon as it came in because he wants, thinks it's gonna change my mind from getting the hella yellow. As you can see, if you don't believe this is mine, there it is. Especially made for Ben Anton, which is yours truly. So I'm gonna pull it around front, park it next to Ryan's truck, see the color difference in the green, and uh, I'll hand him the camera, see what it's like driving it. Here it is next to Ryan's truck. Obviously not as bright, but this is because it's metallic. But I mean, look how good those LED lights look. I think I f***ed up. <laughs> Order in yellow. That's what Randy just said. <laughs> Dude, this clutch is so weird. I know. It's so light. I still haven't felt one. I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually kind of pissed off my truck doesn't have any metallic in it. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually gonna, not gonna lie, I do like this green almost a lot more than. Well, it should work. I, the problem is, I do like this green almost more than I like the green in my truck or that green for that matter. But, uh, uh, dude. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Should I wait for the yellow? Should I go with the green? I'm looking at it in the light. <laughs> I honestly... Uh, I know, it's like, it's, it's that color that's just like... Oh my god. Shit mode? You can't put auto start stop on or off. Yeah, f the auto starts out. You know what? I'm the first thing I do. Let me let me take that pin out right now. They're, they're like trying to figure out what the f is going on. Ryan can't even get out of it. He loves it too much. He literally was just telling me he he hates that he doesn't have this on his. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that Rubicon. He literally just told me he hates me because I ordered this and the Hella Yellow, and he doesn't have this green on his truck. He said he wishes he had this pearlescent on his truck. In case you were wondering what, uh, what Ryan does uh, off camera, basically he just helps me pick out Jeeps, like all day. I might have to take the Freedom top off just to see, just to see what it looks like, what it feels like. Oh my God, you did not like that. Did he walk away? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I got the, uh, the keyless. Dude, True keyless uh, enter and go. So I don't have to worry about the key coming out, unlocking my car and then getting in because it's a push button. All Jeeps are push buttons now. Exactly. So I don't have to. <laughs> no. This, no, that's fucking it. Right here, I see it. So if you look at this, you zoom in. There's like a hyper green yellow renegade. And then up there is Ryan's truck in the very corner.
Randy said when he saw the truck pull up, he, he's like, yeah, I got him, grab him, grab him the keys, because he's going to want to look at it. I know Hallie, I know, I know Hallie wants me to get the yellow, but neither of us has seen it in person, because there's only been one, and it's for the auto show, so no, nobody's seen it besides people that went to the auto show. And it's the same paint coat as Baja yellow, so it's like, have we seen this color already? But as you put Baja next to it, it's like, ah, you can't really tell, but like this, this is a brand new color for Wrangler. I think Hallie would like it if she saw it in person. That's my problem. Is she's like never available to come look when she went. But she is the one that convinced me to get the yellow because she said she would like the yellow better. But honestly, like. Hmm. I know uh, I pretty much am just saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And over. Oh, there's a clear mask on here. No shit, they got clear mask on here. I know, I saw that. I already protected my Jeep. Oh, fuel door cover? You shouldn't have. I know, I I sound like a broken record here, guys, but honestly, I can't decide if I want to wait to see the yellow or if I want to just jump it and get I, this go with my original order, which is the green, the, you know, the mojito. It took me two weeks to get this. People were waiting months like four or five months to get their theirs in and I, I I ordered this before I went to Puerto Rico and by the time I got back the salesman had texted me and he said yeah it's it's here if you want to come take a look I was like blown away blown away anyways guys uh, that's probably gonna do it for me uh, I'm pretty much just saying the same thing over and over and over uh, if you guys have any questions on what kind of packages I had ordered on my Wrangler, uh, if I didn't go over anything or I missed something, or I'm just kind of frustrated and running around the Jeep right now just because I'm trying to decide if I want it or not. If you have any questions about what kind of packages I've ordered that I didn't talk about or anything, uh, go ahead and comment below. And uh, if you guys are in the market for Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, anything, come to Coughlin in Marysville. Randy will hook you up. Randy gave me a hell of a deal on this. That's the other thing is, is between me ordering this and me ordering the Hella Yellow, the shipping rates have went up and the price of the Jeep went up, like just from the factory. So it's actually a little bit more expensive for me to get the yellow. This is actually cheaper to stay with the green. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think I should do? Should I wait or should I just go with it? I already have most of my parts picked out and I'm like ready to go on this Wrangler. I'm ready to go. Ryan and I already know like what well, we're just gonna jump right into it. So stay tuned for the build whether I get the yellow or whether I get the green. It's still up in the air but this is swaying me a lot. This is swaying me a lot. Anyways guys I hope you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.